With phase one of Carrington House renovation now complete, it is time we shift our attention to the extension. This extension will include a new kitchen, bathroom, laundry, living space, as well as an open air deck area. Currently situated in the position of the new extension is a leaky, old, asbestos add-on with a bathroom, a kitchen and a kind of weird dining living area and it's under decades of dust and grime and to be honest who knows what else so it's all got to go. It is gone. In a big, oof, we had to pull it down with a rope. First thing on the agenda is site prep. I have the guys in today to remove a few stumps and other rubbish that remains from the asbestos add-on that once stood here. We've hit that stage in construction where we've peered your holes as per the engineer's request. And... I've got my arms crossed. We've hit rock! So for everyone that's probably watching this and builders say in their contracts... You guys just make that up. If we hit rock, there'll be a variation. So, I feel like this is a celebration of a... a, a How are we a celebrating? A celebration of a, a construction uh, relationship in that you've just hit your first real rock variation. But that's not all that's happening here. It's a cluster. Like... It wasn't a nice site to start with. We found everything from buried asbestos to buried animal bones. And then it rained for four weeks. Yes. And then the then holes were caving in. Yes. Yeah, so I'm... I know, you're angry at the builder and this is the part of the relationship where, you know, we're down here, but at the end, when it's all finished, you'll be happy. We'll be like this. Yes. I'm not angry. I'm just... I'm not angry because it's part of construction and it's part of how it rolls. Now, the upside of what we've hit here is sandstone, so it's actually like a sandstone shelf. Why is that good? <coughs> well, if it was just the shaley rock, we'd have to actually drill through it and go deeper. Don't do that. No, it will <laughs> cost more money. Teach me, Ferris. So, Finlay, this is meant to be 1800 deep. How deep is it? I give 400? 400? Pretty close, I reckon. Now, That is your sandstone there. It's solid. It's got a circle in the middle. Well, that's from the head of the auger. That's why it broke. That's the centre of it. Yep. That we drilled out around there. With Ferris and the engineer very happy, in comes the concrete. With the concrete poured, set and ready to go, down go the unipiers, bearers and joists. Ferris suggested we go with steel unipiers here as they're cost effective and ideal for the location and the layout of the home. Unfortunately, this was all cut way too short due to some not so ideal weather. So 
Ferris stepped in, decided to check in and provide some reassuring words. Finlay, good morning, happy Friday. <sighs> Look, what's happened on site this week? Well, it's rained and then it rained again and then it rained again and it's raining again this morning. So not too much has happened on site. We've got our bearers down, which you can see in the background. We've got our joist placement ready to go uh, and our set downs for our bathrooms and our laundries. So we're just waiting on a bit of fine weather. Had to put the boys elsewhere this morning, unfortunately, because uh, of the weather call. So that's really, really uh, a bit of a thorn in the side at the moment. The plan for next week would be to get all the floor joists down, the flooring down, and the frame set out, and possibly some of the frame up. It'll all go quite fast now. As you can see, the bearers are down. The joists are literally sitting on top of the bearers behind me underneath the black plastic. Uh, we would have had them down by now and the flooring on, except our good friend Mother Nature isn't on Finlay's home's side. The one thing you could do if you're in this position when you're renovating is to be kind to your builder and maybe put down some stone in the mud that we have at the bottom of the holes here. Or dewater it for him. That would be really nice. Other than that, make sure you do things like cover over the timber that you're going to use so it doesn't get waterlogged. Uh, there is meant to be plastic over these bearers uh, on the back here. The boys just forgot to put it on. So the best thing you can do is keep everything dry. Now a roll of black plastic only costs a couple hundred dollars so do it. Well worth the investment. Mother Nature must have been inspired by Ferris's words of wisdom because only hours later the boys were back on site. navigated through it yes. but being the weatherman that you are what does it look like next week uh, there's, there's some rain forecasted <laughs> so we could be in for a little bit of a ride but we've got our big green tarp here so we should be, so, be able to, to stand some frames and then work under it so you're going to stand some frames and give us a pretend roof. And just like that, we are off the ground. The subfloor has been framed, the sheeting completed. In the next video, the guys are back to begin framing the walls and the roof, bringing us up to lock-up stage. <laughs>